This roasted hake dish is basically like any sheet pan supper, except that it stars fish and sweet peppers instead of the usual chicken. I love cooking with hake. It's one of my favorite fish. It's a firm, white-fleshed, very mild fish. It also happens to be sustainable and not too expensive. And it sort of reminds me of a little codish, maybe a little flukish. If you can't find it though, use any firm, white-fleshed fish for this recipe. So you wanna season your fish before you put everything in the oven. And that just gives the fish a chance to start absorbing all the, the flavors. The thyme adds an earthy flavor to the dish. If you can find lemon thyme, you'll get the earthiness plus a brightness and it makes it fantastic. After you season it, you can just let it hang out for 20 minutes or so while you do the peppers. It'll be fine at room temperature. This is a cheater's version of a roasted bell pepper recipe. Instead of having to peel them, I slice them so thinly that when they're roasted, you don't even notice the peels. The whole thing is just tender and delicious. So you want these peppers to be in one layer or as much as possible in one layer. There could be a couple of overlapping ones, but you wanna give them lots of room to get caramelized and really brown. And if you bunch them up, they're just gonna steam and get soggy. And then you start roasting these before you add the fish. So be careful because the pan is hot, but what you wanna do at this point is just move the peppers over and you wanna create a bare spot. And this is where the fish is gonna go. So I guess it's a fish spot, not a bare spot. You see how this part of the fish is thicker than this part? I'm just gonna fold this under, just like that, and then the whole thing will cook at the same rate. And then just back in the oven to cook the fish. I finished this dish with a parsley salad because I want that herb flavor, I want the freshness, it has a little bit of raw garlic in it, and it goes really nicely with all those sweet peppers. This dish is so easy. It's one of those things that you can just come home from work and make and it'll be ready for dinner in 40 minutes, but it's also fancy enough to serve to guests.